Hello, my name is Rodolfo Silva, and let's talk a little bit about the undo history slider and undo markers. So to access your undo history, just press this little button on the top right corner, and this is your undo history. You can slide back and forth in history within that subtool by using your finger or the Apple Pencil. And if you have an Apple Pencil Pro, you'll feel haptic feedback on this. You can access all of your undo history settings also through here. So you can change the settings for your undo history in order to optimize your save file or the actual size of your files. You can also just clear your undo history by clicking those three little dots on the right. And you can clear the marker if you have any, or you can delete older undo history. So if you're like in the middle over here and you click delete older, it's gonna delete those steps on the left or you can just delete the entire undo history and just retain this state that you currently have selected. So if I don't want to retain any of my changes, I can come over here and click this one. Now let's take a look at some things that you can do with your undo history. So I have this tiger model that I was working on. And as you can see, it's still work in progress. It has a lot of like sketch marks and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually smooth out the surface using Smooth Stronger just to get rid of those sketch marks. And now let's say I wanna add some fur. So one thing that I could do is I could use one of my chisel brushes. I can go over here to my chisel organic and pick like this animal fur 04, for example, and then just start dragging that onto the surface. Now, as I drag these on the surface, one of the things that is gonna to start to happen is that it's gonna create more and more undo history points in your undo history slider. So if I want, let's say, to erase that, what I can do is I can come back in my undo history right before I started adding those fur VDM strokes and just click this little button on the right with a bookmark icon. And now that's gonna create an undo history marker, as you can see over there. Now, if I go back to the present and I can use my history recall brush over here, and now what it's gonna do is it's gonna project that detail from that bookmark to the current state. If you go back, this has no fur. And if I go back to the present and I start just using that undo history recall brush, it's gonna project back the mesh in that state. So I could also do the opposite. I could now come back to this undo history and tag this one instead by pressing that button and then go back to the present and use my history recall brush to just project that detail back onto that surface. Now, let's say I really like those sketch marks and I want to get back those sketch marks all the way from the beginning. I could tack that one too and then go back to the present and I'll use my history recall brush again and just bring back parts of that undo history state. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.